during your reign as producer, I'm sure over the years you heard fans on the internet or some or people within the company just saying you need to turn Roman, you know, bad guy. And it took so many years to do it, and now he has turned bad guy. It was the best thing for his career. Uh, who was like the biggest resistor of turning him uh, heel earlier on? Um. In WWE, there's a there's a saying backstage that uh, there's an audience of one. Okay, so who is the biggest resistor? I, I don't know. <laughs> Who's the biggest resistor to keeping him face? Doesn't matter. He was kept face. Why? That's what Vince wanted to do. That's what Vince thought was best. You know, and. Um, you know, people didn't know that Ouse had uh, leukemia, and that's what uh, got him out of football. People didn't know that. People didn't know he was a cancer survivor, and so he had the second bout. And I remember when we were struggling, you know, trying to find it, trying to get him over. I'd ask Hunter, you know, like, we'd be in production meetings. I remember texting Hunter from two tables back to the front table right there, just texting while the meeting's going on. Like, um, you know, is it time to mention uh, the illness? Because it'd be like, invariably it'd be around like, uh, what was it? It was October. It was the uh, breast cancer where we had the uh, pink ropes mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, the Susan so D. Coleman thinking, thing. Right. So then I was thinking like, well, with the cancer awareness and tie and everything, like, you know, it sparked that with that coming up. I didn't know if like we should do that beforehand or like months before. And I always ask her, like, do you think now's the time? It's like, no, Vince doesn't want to touch that, you know, and I can understand that. And nobody else knew about it. Like I was one of the few people who knew about the sickness that drove him out. People didn't know he was a cancer survivor and thought like, man, if people knew what kind of guy this was, like what kind of fucking man this guy was and how tough this son of a bitch was and how, how this guy's the motherfucker. Uh, like they, they wouldn't be able to help but like, I mean, give him money, you know, and come off their wallets for this guy. Cause he's a superhero. He really is. And um, yeah, there was a big push to like not swim upstream and just go with whatever, but Roman going through everything he went through, like from the time at WrestleMania 31, uh, two days before, and when I had to tell him in the hallway of the hotel that he was not going to defeat Brock Lesnar after everything we did for the last year, you know, after Brock broke the streak, after Brock killed John Cena at SummerSlam, after, you know, Suplex City, all that, we're not going to put Roman over. And I had to tell him in the hallway of the hotel and to see that and just to see him say, you know, smile and go, okay, well, it's going to be great. And then, you know, to be on the bus with Brock and laying that match out the night before. And just, there's stories that, you know, viewers will be interested in probably. Mm -hmm. And if not, then uh, I still am. And um, with Roman going through all those disappointments, all the times he went out there and had to say things that were scripted for him that were so fucking far-fetched and so stupid and not him. And how many times he had to go out there and work 40 minute matches in fucking Toledo, Ohio, you know, and just like bust his ass and give everything he did all that shit. It took all that shit. And it takes what it takes to get where you are. And it took all that for him to become the man he is, that he can say, this is my microphone. This is my camera. Don't you understand that this is my set that I walk out of to make me look good? And then the announcers, they're for me. And they're going to talk about me and how good I look up on that set to all the people who are at home watching their TVs. And when we're watching their TVs, they're going to see this backdrop that says WrestleMania. And they're going to see me in front of it with a microphone because this is all for me. And that WrestleMania sign, I am WrestleMania. And he can mean all that shit. And it comes across as very, very true and realistic. And he knows that and he knows who he is, but he wouldn't be able to pull any of this off if he hadn't gone through all the shit he went through. And that's why he's special. And nobody's gone through what he's gone through. So nobody is who he is.